Phillips uh, 42 PF 7320 slash 10 uh, dead. Uh, customer complained I was taking longer and longer for it to come on. Now it won't come on at all. I'll just show you the lights that light up in the front. I'm going to plug in the unit now. Uh, and hear the relay clicking. And then it clicks off. And then if I press any of the buttons, it's the standby button, light goes off. And that's all I get. I'm going to take the back off now uh, and have a look, see what I can see. Um, I should warn people that uh, you should use an isolation transformer when working on these with D backs off. And uh, if you have no experience of working on power supplies and the, uh, how to work with power supplies safely, don't do it. Uh, give it to someone that has the experience uh, in repairs. I have to back off now. Uh, there's about 50 torque screws in it, um, a lot of screws. Uh, and uh, I've just done a visual inspection of the power supply. And uh, from what I can see, there's two bulging capacitors. Uh, I'm just going to uh, get in there for a closer shot. There you have the power supply. I can see that the capacitors are here. In this area here, I'll just zoom in. Let's, uh, let's get this cable out of the way. And, uh, these are the two uh, capacitors I'm going to remove and uh, see what happens. Get back to you in a minute. We'll start by removing the cable. That's the mains cable. Remember, the uh, mains reservoir capacitors will hold a charge even when not plugged into the mains. This store charges like a battery and they can give you a nasty shock if you're not careful. Okay, I'm going to start on soldering these uh, two capacitors here and, uh, and then replace them. They're a 10 volt uh, 3300 UF modified degree type capacitor. Circuit reference C8059 and C8060. I'm just using solder wick. Soak up the excess solder. Might work with this board because it's uh, it's 
uh, double sided print so I have to be very careful now with this and I've got the 30 uh, um, SC7000 uh, desolder now it's better for the double sided print it, uh, Sucks the solder up. Nice fight. Had a few issues with it, I had to unblock it. Uh, it wasn't sucking correctly. Okay, I'm going to just put in the two new caps. Um, I should remind you that they are polarised capacitors. Um, on the board, you'll see the markings for the positive side of the cap, which uh, this line down here with the negative sign that is the negative so the other side will go to the positive mark so I'm just going to put it in As you see on the uh, bottom of the board there we have markings and uh, these stripe marks are the negative side of the uh, capacitor. So you put the, this is the old cap, this end, this pin here that corresponds with this side lines up at this hole with the stripe markings on it. If you put it in the wrong way you're going to get a nice bit of steam out of these caps or they might just go bang. Pushing them back up. Clean up. Removes the excess flux uh, residue. Okay, I'm just going to 
get ready now and put it in the, in the, in the unit. Okay, I got the board sitting in the uh, unit. Was uh, that one in the screws? And uh, it's the uh, silver screws with the little washers on them. Screwdriver set to its lowest torque. Um. Sustain board, KY sustain, and everyone. Okay. Goes to your audio board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition this now and uh, switch it on and let you see what happens. I have the back on. Um, there's about 50 screws, so I didn't show that. If I did, it would make for a very long video. Uh, I'm just going to power up now. I have a signal connected and let's see what happens. Okay, you have a picture up. And let's see what we have sound wise. Okay, sound is okay. And the picture is good, no sparklies. Fair, very good picture for the uh, vintage of this uh, plasma. Um, thank you for watching.